Good morning. Time to make the coffee. So I'm trying the chocolate raspberry hot cocoa in my coffee this morning. Oh, it's gray and gloomy out there today again. It's going to be in the 50s, but right now it's chilly out there. And the wind is kicking up. I don't have any hopes of it being a wonderful weather day today. So we'll make it a wonderful day inside. Well, as usual, I have more planting to do. And it seems like I'm doing a lot of planting, and I am, but I'm planting a lot of different varieties of flowers and herbs and veggies so that I can do my companion planting, which is the way I planned in my garden book to plant my crops this year. So if you're not familiar with companion planting, it's planting plants together that like each other, that protect each other from bugs. And uh, I've done it in the past and it seems to work out okay. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm using up a lot of my old seeds. So I don't hold hope that I'm going to have an abundance of plants. But we'll see. And if I do, like I said, I can always give some to my daughter, which I plan on doing anyway. And uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. I can use up my old seeds and still have um, new seeds for next year. Or actually, yeah, it is for next year because I plan on doing the, the uh, starting of the garden the winter sowing next year in February. All right, well, I don't know, it looks good. Well, let's give it a taste. Cheers. Oh my, that is delicious. Mm-hmm. That is really good. So I only used two teaspoons. And this is what it is. Gourmet hot cocoa chocolate raspberry. And I believe that was four dollars and something. But if you only use two, te two teaspoons at a time, which is what I put in here, it seems to be just right. And still using the chocolate creamer, that is really tasty. All right, well, I have a mess in my kitchen from my shopping. I have a mess everywhere in my kitchen, so I need to clean that up. I got some laundry I have to finish up. Lots of things to do today, so even if it's not the best weather outside, I can get some things done inside. And hopefully I can get the planting done today. I know I've been saying that for a couple weeks already. But it's a slower process than what I thought. So, and then not having everything that I needed right away. I had to wait, go to the store, get what I wanted. But I think this is, um, with the baggies, if this works out, this is going to be what future me <clears throat> is going to do next year. So, all right, I will meet you at the budget book, and we'll see. You know, I get a big red X today, or for yesterday, but today I plan on not shopping. Okay, yesterday I get a big red X because I went and I bought some things for the garden, and I bought a little bit of groceries while I was out. I figured I might as well pick up few things that I need. So um, I'm still not doing badly. I, I would like to not spend money next week, hopefully, but we'll see. You know, things come up. And I'm not on a real strict no spend. I'm on trying to do a low spend, but 
I don't know, with gardening it's always expensive, at least to get it set up. So I'm hoping that next year I'll be able to, I'll have to just buy seeds and call it good. Well, and of course soil, potting soil. But for now, it is what it is, and until I get this system set up, it's going to cost me a little extra. So that is the budget book for today. Well, I'm getting ready to plant some more seeds, and some of these seeds are really old. So I'm just trying to get them out and make room for some fresh seeds. Um, I really don't want to keep seeds that long if I don't have to. So anyway, a thought crossed my mind this morning and I thought, hmm, since they're shrink shrinking everything, I wonder if these skewers are shorter than the old ones. And there we go. They're at least two inches shorter. So this might be a problem for me for the top. It won't be a problem for the sides. It's okay for the sides, but for the top, this is kind of short. So I think what I'll have to do is just put them in a little bit closer and hope that that does the trick. So you can see With the longer ones, it works perfectly. So, well, you got to work with what you have. So I'm almost done planting my herbs, and then I'm going to go to the flowers. And I was watching a channel this morning, if you're into gardening. Um, she gardens in Zone 6, and her, name, her channel's name is Monica Katie's Garden. And she was very informative, I thought. So, um, I don't know. Hopefully this will work out. But like I said, a lot of these seeds are older. Like, old, old. So, it'll be alright if that doesn't work out. Like I said, I'll just dump the seed or the dirt in the garden and try again next year. So... Everything is being impacted by shrinkflation, and I'm sure they're more expensive than what they used to be. So, uh, I had a busy day today. I'm making some yogurt again. Um, I did buy Dollar Tree Shelf Stable Milk. They had the full fat, and there's only, between the regular milk and the 2% milk, there's only... I think it was like a 20 calorie difference and I really do prefer the full fat milk yogurt. It's, it seems to be richer. So I'm doing that. I'm doing laundry. I moved all my uh, little garden things out into the garden because that's where they're going to live. I had them all on my deck and I moved those into the garden so that um, they'll get used to their home, for lack of a better term. So, uh, I'm not going to cook much today. I, uh, I have some fixings for some soup just out of canned veggies. I might have that, or um, I don't know. A burger is sounding pretty good, but we'll see. I'm not sure. So, all right, I'll be back in a little bit, and we'll see what else okay, is going on. I just wanted to give you a very quick update. I've been going through all the things that I had started um, in the paper towels. These containers did the best. With the paper towels, whoops, with the paper towel on the bottom and then on the top, these did much better than leaving them open um, and not having a top cover on them. So I need to replant a few tomatoes and those will be going in these. Um, these are little tiny petunias. 
and I don't know what to do with them. At first I thought they were all moldy, but I see a lot of, you probably can't see it, little tiny sprouts and they're way too tiny to pull off the paper towel and plant. So it's not a good idea to sew petunias on a paper towel. I will not be doing that again. It's better just to seed them in dirt and cover them with a dome and be done with that. Um, then the last thing I wanted to update on is my citrus um, seeds. Now, I'm trying to uh, grow blood orange and my, uh, my Meyer lemons. So the blood orange, I think I had five seeds, and three of them are still good, but they haven't... This one is just starting a little tiny root at the end. So I'll be sticking that in dirt pretty soon, but I want to um, change the paper towel, leave it in there a few more days. So I have three seeds that potentially might sprout. So those I'll keep. Uh, the other two I'm just going to toss because they're moldy. So those aren't good. And then the lemon, which is underneath, is actually doing better. And those actually a couple of them are getting moldy, but a couple of them are actually doing real well. So I'm going to leave them in the paper towel a few more days. So the lemons are doing better. These are Meyer lemons. Um, and I'm going to throw away the moldy ones and put a fresh paper towel in here and <clears throat> give it a few more days. Now here's one where the outside is molding but I don't know it looks like it might be sprouting too so I'll give that a little more time. So that's how those are doing and uh, it's taken a long time for those to sprout, so I'm going to give them a few more days. And then here, I use the coffee cups, and some of the uh, perennials that I... I wouldn't do that again either. Doing that... Uh, well, I don't have the sleeve for that right now. I would not do the perennials on a paper towel again either because there's so many different seeds in there, different kinds, that um, some are tiny, some are bigger, so they all germinate at different times. So those I would do in soil in a bigger pot. But there's some really, really tiny seeds that I put in the coffee cups. So whatever I could get off the paper towel these are really tiny. Whatever I could get off the paper towel, I figured I'd give them a chance. And this is all with coffee pots. And then two more of my peppers, red peppers, uh, are starting to sprout. So I planted those, and whatever hasn't sprouted by now is gone in the garbage. So that's what I learned so far. Little tiny seeds are not a good thing to plant on a paper towel. Seeds that germinate at different times are not good for a paper towel either. So, um, yep, that's it. All right, so I just wanted to give you an update on that. And these are going to be going under the grow lights because I just planted them and the weather isn't nice enough to, to go out. And today it was 
so windy. We had a big, huge gust of wind come through, and it blew the shutter off my house. Now, this is like, I think the second time since I've lived here that that's happened, but I'm going to get my handyman over and see if he can't put it back up for me. But I wanted to change the color on them anyway. I want to go from um, a dark green to like a coastal blue. I want to try that. So one of them fell off. <laughs> so <laughs> when the weather turns nice, I'm going to give him a call. He's the same fellow that fixed my microwave. And while he's here, I'm going to ask him to take a look at it again. And if it's the switch again, I'll have him fix it one more time. I don't know what's with the switches. I have the feeling that's what it is. And if it's not the switch, that microwave is going to go. And, I mean, I have that one. So it's not like I'm without one. Because I use the microwave a lot um, every day. So, all right, uh, I think I'm going to have a um, burger, uh, an impossible burger. That was the electricity. I hope our electricity doesn't go out. And I think I'm going to have, make it like a patty melt. I have some onions that I'll cook, so that sounds good to me. So I think I'm going to make that for dinner and uh, call it good. Well, it was right. a busy day today. I got some things done, started cleaning up the kitchen, did some laundry. Um, I got this canning and fermenting magazine from Dollar Tree. I like their little magazines from from the ed editors of Relish. So it's got all kinds of veggies that you can either ferment or can. Sounds very interesting. Onion rings, dilled onion rings. What else? Homemade spaghetti sauce. So doesn't seem too complicated. So I'm going to go look at that now. Um, I'm still not done. Go figure. I got all my herbs done um, except the basil. I'm waiting a little bit on that. It's still a little too cold. And a couple other things, but... Um, Herbs are so expensive. You know, I've bought them in the past, and, you know, a little container is $4. And I'm sure this year it's probably $4.98. So I re, um, redid my um, Meyer Lemon and Blood Orange fresh paper towel. So I changed their sheets. Not quite ready yet. And uh, then I'm also keeping all the sleeves of the seeds that I've planted in case I want to read the back of them to see what's going on. So tomorrow I'll continue on with uh, my planting of the flowers. And then hopefully that'll be done. I think I've planted probably at least 10 or 12 bags now, all with different things. And then I think I have about six boxes. So lots of planting this year. But like I said, um, I'm trying to simplify things and get rid of a lot of these old seeds. So some of my seeds are from 2014, so... I'm sure those are probably no good anymore. And if I have similar new seeds, I just, I'm mixing them all together. And as long as some come up, I mean, I don't need a hundred of each plant. You know, even if I get 10 or 20, that would be fine too. 
So last night I tried the, um, the eyelash serum that I got from Dollar Tree yesterday and I took a picture to see if it actually makes any difference and I put it on my eyebrows and on my lashes. So I'm going to see, hopefully, I'm not real good at follow through sometimes, but I'm going to see if there's any difference like in maybe 30 days and see if it works. But it's um, castor oil and uh, they say that does work. So um, we'll see. I mean, for a dollar twenty-five, I'm sure a lot of these more expensive serums are way more than that. So, and then I'm trying to figure out the best way to rig up these short sticks, which is really annoying because that the longer ones were working perfectly. So I'm just kind of attaching them to one side of the bag. But the problem when they're attached, then um, the bag doesn't open as nicely as when they're just pushed through. So I don't know. I have to play with that a little more. Uh, either that or I'll have to see if I can get some longer sticks. So, all right. Well, it's going on 7.30 already, and I've been fooling around with stuff in my kitchen all day. I've been in here literally all day long. So I'm ready to um, call it a day. So that's all I have for you today, my friends. I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you. And I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. Thanks for watching.